Apple could have another iPhone SE with a new look in the pipeline. An iPhone SE 4 could be in the works for a 2023 release if rumors about Apple's phone plans are to be believed. So what can we expect from this updated iPhone? The iPhone SE 2022 that Apple released in March added 5G compatibility to the company's cheapest phone but retained the aging design of the iPhone SE 2020. That's likely to change with the new model, though expect Apple to recreate the look of another old iPhone for its newest SE. We still got several months to go before the likely release date of a new iPhone SE, if Apple even releases the phone at all in 2023, so definitive rumors about the possible device have yet to fully emerge. Here's where we're on the most solid ground in terms of iPhone SE 4 rumors. In Ross Young's tweet on a possible 2023 release date for the phone, he mentions the likelihood of the device swapping out its current 4.7-inch screen for either a 5.7 or 6.1-inch panel. That would likely necessitate a change from the current iPhone SE's design, which adopts the look of 2017's iPhone 8, with chunky bezels and a Touch ID button. Instead, leaker John Prosser believes Apple will turn to a more recent, though still older, iPhone for design inspiration. He's tipped the iPhone SE 4 to adapt the look of 2018's iPhone XR, including that phone's 6.1-inch display. With a notch in the display, there's no word on whether it would be iPhone XR size or incorporate the smaller notch Apple introduced with the iPhone SE. The iPhone SE 4 would also add Face ID support while shedding Touch ID. You don't have to imagine what such a phone would look like. Artist Ian Zelbo has created iPhone SE 4 renders based on the design rumors Prosser has put forth so far. Looking at the device, it will see a lot of similarities with the iPhone XR. Very few rumors about iPhone SE specs have emerged, though Apple has a pretty clear track record of what it does and doesn't include on this particular model. For instance, the phone generally uses the same processor as the flagships released the previous fall. Assuming a spring 2023 launch for the iPhone SE 4, that means either the A15 Bionic powering the iPhone 14 or the A16 Bionic inside the iPhone 14 Pro models. If we had to guess, we'd assume Apple would go with the former, which includes an additional GPU core from the A15 Bionic that debuted with the iPhone 13. All iPhone SE models have featured a single rear camera and we don't anticipate that changing with the iPhone SE 4. Apple has to find some way to distinguish its entry-level phone from the least expensive flagship iPhone and keeping an ultra-wide lens off the SE seems like one way to do that. We would hope that Night Sight finally makes the leap to the iPhone SE with the next model, though. Apple has started using old panels on its flagships, which now feature 128 gigs of storage in their base models. The iPhone SE 2022, in contrast, features an LCD screen and starts at 64 gigs of storage. We certainly wouldn't anticipate the screen type changing for the 2023 model, and Apple seems disinclined to bump the storage on the SE. We'd also expect the display to refresh at 60Hz since an adaptive refresh rate is also missing from the regular iPhone models outside of the Pro versions. There's one other feature we wouldn't imagine Apple adding to the iPhone SE, wireless charging. Again, this seems to be how Apple is distinguishing its different phone models, while also keeping an eye on how to keep iPhone SE costs down. So far, there's been no word on iPhone SE 4 pricing and we wouldn't expect those rumors to start surfacing until we get closer to the launch. At $429, the current iPhone SE is one of the best cheap phones available, and we wouldn't expect Apple to give up its pricing advantage so easily, when rival phones like the Google Pixel 6 and Galaxy F53 cost $449. With that in mind, you don't need us to tell you that prices are rising all around us. And that goes for the cost of components used to make phones as well. External pressures may force Apple to adjust the cost of the iPhone SE 4 from the iPhone SE 2022's price tag. Ahead of the iPhone 14 launch, rumors suggested that Apple was going to boost prices on the Pro models by $100, though thankfully, that did materialize. But again, it's too early to say what might happen with the iPhone SE 4's price. Adopting a new design for the iPhone SE 4 would tackle one of our biggest complaints about the current model, and opting for a larger screen might expand the iPhone SE's appeal, as bigger phones have become more popular since the original iPhone SE's 2016 arrival. We have hope that this will come to pass should Apple opt for the iPhone XR's larger form factor at house the next iPhone SE, a bigger phone leaves more space for a bigger battery. 
That plus a more advanced chipset could help the iPhone SE 4 last longer on a charge. Another move that will help it stand out from similarly priced phones. So what do you guys think about the upcoming iPhone SE 4? Let us know your expectations from Apple, and I'll see you guys in the next one. See you for the next time. Peace out.